Well, teachers, everyone wants to know what's the latest and greatest. What is new in Chrome? And I thought today I'm going to give you five things that you may not know are new in Chrome. And I'm going to tell you all about them right now. Chrome is always getting updates to it to make it better, friendlier, and a better user experience for us. So I've got five things that may be new or maybe you just didn't know that might make your experience a little bit better. Let's start with number one, link sharing. Let's skip right to the good part. You can now go ahead and highlight text in some sort of article that you have found online and then copy the link to your highlight. What does this look like exactly? Well, what this means is if you find an article that you want someone to see and you want them to go to a specific part of that article, you can highlight it and then right click on your highlight. You then can go to copy link to highlight. And so I'm going to click on that. Now, when you send this to the person, or you just put it in a new browser, I'm going to paste it into a new browser, it's going to take you directly to that highlighted part and you can see that it's kind of highlighted very, very faintly for the person so they know exactly the part of the article that you want them to read. That brings me to tip number two. Do you have way too many Chrome tabs open at once? You can see my tech tip that's on the screen right now. This is under the community section on my YouTube channel, Parks and Education. If you ever wanna see any of my key tips, go to community and start scrolling down. You'll be able to see all of the ones that I've done in the past. This particular key tip or keyboard shortcut will allow you to see and search what tabs you actually have open. So you can do this on a Mac, PC or on a Chromebook, Control Shift A or Command Shift A. And if you use that shortcut, you will see that in the top right hand corner, this little carrot will drop down and you're able to not only search through your tabs, but it will kind of give you the titles of what you have and you're able to scroll through all of them, including recently closed tabs, which is a big one if you ever mistakenly close out a tab. You can use the keyboard shortcut or you should have this little carrot in the top right hand corner anyways that is able to go ahead and search your tabs when clicked. Next, tip number three, grouping tabs. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Todd, didn't you already make a video for us on grouping tabs? Uh, uh yeah, I did. But I thought I might as well put it into this video as well because I found that a lot of people that I ran into really liked the idea of grouping tabs and it has changed the way that they organize what they have up top. In order to group tabs, all you need to do is to click on the tab that you want. And if you hold down the shift key, you can grab multiple tabs all at once. You can then right click and you're going to go down to add tabs to a new group. When this comes up, you can name the group and then pick a certain color maybe that goes along with that group. You'll then see the tabs that go into that group and you can minimize them so that they all go together. So if I click on where it says tips and tricks at the top, you'll see it open up and those three tabs are in it. Now, if I wanna get rid of one of these tabs that may be in the group, all I have to do is right click on it and I can choose remove from group or I can go ahead and open the group up and select something else that maybe I want to add to it. If I find that I want to add another tab to the group, all I have to do is right click on it and hover over add tab to group. You can then see that I could probably start a new group if I wanted to or add it to one that already exists. All I have to do is click and it now is part of that group that can be minimized or maximized. You can also rearrange the order of these tabs in the group by clicking on it with a left click and then holding that click until you have the tab in the order that you want. Tip number four, bookmark all of your tabs all at once. I didn't really know this existed because I've got a lot of bookmarks and I get rid of the words whenever I bookmark something because if I can understand what the logo is, 
I don't really need the words there. So that's a small separate tip in itself. But if you go to the snowman to the right hand side, the three dots, you go down to where it says bookmarks, there is one that says bookmark all tabs. And the shortcut is control shift D. This will bookmark all of the tabs that you have open all at once. If that's something that you want to do and you want to make sure that you have all of these great sites that maybe you're at a conference and you want to make sure that you have access to all of them later and you don't forget about them, you may want to use bookmark all tabs. And last but not least, tip number five, this is one where when you open Chrome, you can have pages, not just one, but multiple tabs open up all at once every time that you click on Chrome. Again, we're going to go to the snowman in the right hand corner and we're going to go down to settings. We are then on the left hand side going to go to where it says on startup. And at the bottom here, we're going to click open a specific page or set of pages. You can see my default is Google currently, but you can add a new page. And so any page that you want to make sure opens up, you're allowed to add and you can continue to add. So now, if I X out of all of these tabs and I click on Chrome, you can see that my pinned tabs as well as the ones that I have specified that I want opened every single time that I click on Chrome, they open up automatically. So that's it. Those are my five tips for this video on how Chrome has gotten better or things you may not have known. Tell me what you think about it in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see. I will see you 